Here's an achievement and reduction. Starting off with some basic layers. These are text, enlargement, dimension, original, reduction, and annotate. Also, the zero layer will be used for construction lines. To access layers, L A Y E R, enter. And the layers property will come up. You can create your layers from that. Starting with our original shape. Original shape does not matter. So we will start from the zero layer, being the construction line layer, and create a sh an object. Turn on Arthur and select the line tool, that's L enter. And uh, I'm just going to use some random figures. So let us say 100 horizontally. And 100 horizontally is very small, so I zoom all the way in to find the object line tool again and let's go 200 down that's it circle tool C I enter and from that let's expand to what does it say let's expand to 100 and once again circle tool from the other end and let's expand to 225 that creates now an intersection here we'll use this point this this and this to create the original switching to the original layer line tool and uh, let's start here at the end of the line to the intersection to the other side of the line and back you can press C enter and that will close creating a scale Going back to the original construction layer, which is zero layer, line, tool, enter, and I will create a scale from this line. You just need to select a line to create a scale. It could be any one of the lines. The polygon that we have here, an irregular polygon of five sides, I'm going to use the longest side for creating a scale. So, line, tool, enter at the top of the line, and an angle draw a line at any angle so let me turn off my ortho pick an angle that looks suitable and just click once that line is created it's time to divide that line but um let us first turn on node going back to the snap mode turn on node with the line still selected type divide and enter it will ask you select object to divide and you will choose the line enter and how many segments let's do a ratio of two to four to six that means the highest number being six x six and enter or for that note let me just turn on the text layer and create a text from annotate and let's call let's just say our ratio two four six and that's ratio of the text is too big so select the text go to property and scroll down to paper text height and let's just use it 0 0.25 enter and zoom in see what that looks like all right that's fine move that away a little bit out of the way and just to remind you that the ratio is 2 to 4 to 6 and that is why we divided our line into 6 now select line tool and 
turn from the end of the line to the end of the line and that's your skill this triangle here will create a skill we will now copy this line c o p y and grab it here and at each node a node will appear right here where there's a circle that looks like a target at each one of these we will paste another orange line to create our scale as we had previously divided our line into five segments so that's one two three four five and the last part being six but we don't need to put a line there escape and trim tool enter twice so you can get rid of that we get rid of the extensions of the lines that we don't need Wait, there's an error there I'll have to remove these skills that I had placed there this object being our original should be to a ratio of 5 so what I should have done was to find 1 2 3 4 4 is our, four is our original so 4 to the end of the line and that's what we use so back to where we left off copy just let the line enter and I'm copying it from that side and find back our nodes as we had done before and there you have it your line is in segments now stretch this line all the way down keeping it in line and taking these lines also and stretching them outwards let us just copy grab it from here and put another piece there let's try that again copy enter copy and we want to grab that line from the base here or oh, something was definitely off Yeah, I see. Sure. All right, so we have created our scale or slanted line, which is at any angle. So, the line tool we have already divided our line into six lines. So, once you select the line tool and hover over the line your nodes will identify themselves with a small circle our ratio is 2 to 4 to 6 our original shape is that ratio of 4 so we will count from here being 0 and find the first node that's 1 second node that's 2 third node that's 3 and the four node so four is our original so we click right there and connect the node fourth node to the end of the line that we want we have extended this line to make it much longer because what we're going to do now is take this slanted line which is a part of our scale and copy it five more times by grabbing it at the base zooming out and 
pasting it at each node there 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 and we continue with that process also these lines are too short so what I'll do is find the end of the line and put another piece to work to it so it's longer there we go and so now our lines are long enough now to fill the scale now there's a shrimp enter once more and trim all the excess lines or the lines that protrude further than the scale also we might want to disable some of these lines for example these circles are part of the construction line let's put them to another layer to get them out of the way for now so let them home and let us find a layer that we're not using right now um, a annotate we're not really using that let's put it to that layer and also turn it off so those circles will disappear now back to our scale have an original figure scale to the side and the line protruded now what we need to do also is to now copy each part of the line based on the ratio of scale that they are uh, let us create another text by using the one that we already have and C O P Y, make a copy of it, move it over, and let's relabel that. Double clicking, selecting all, delete everything that's inside of it. Let's type one, and that's now our new number one. Um, it's still a little bit too big for what we want, it should be smaller than the title. So the title was at our height of 0.25 I made mean this point 0.125 so it is will be much smaller or half the size of our title selecting number one and moving it just by clicking on the blue box and bringing it near to the number one tab and COP while it's still selected type copy and grab it anywhere and put another one there for two, three, four, five, and six. And these will edit by double clicking. And that's two. Double click. That's four. That's five. And that's six so all sections of the scale have now been labeled now it's time to simply copy some lines uh, what we also might need to do is make some radial lines from our starting point starting point is at the zero point of the scale so uh, let us all first switch our layer to the construction line layer which is white and from there outwards and that point good uh, we'll take also that line and stretch it to be much longer than it is good and we'll also copy this line c o p y and grabbing it at the base and adding another piece to the original and also another piece to that one all right so our line is much longer now now let us copy some lines we'll grab this one we'll grab it by the base and our ratio is two four and six so we'll find the number six and paste one there find number two 
and paste one there. Let's copy this again. Grab it by the base. And we'll paste another piece here so that it's tall enough to touch the line. Escape. And it has trim. Enter, enter. And it has trim that section that we don't need. That section that we don't need and that section that we don't need and also there maybe this little piece all right we're all settled now this line here we'll also copy to match the lines that we left off from copy tool select grab it by the base and continue and continue. this line as usual being too short we'll add another piece to it to extend it to be long enough escape and trim once more trim enter twice delete or trim those excess pieces now we have or figure complete all three sides are done but to be able to see them better we might have to trace out the parts that we need let's do that now all right this part this part and this part is all part of our original not part of our original part of the enlargement so I'll switch them So that section and that section I'll switch them to be part of the enlargement so we can see that all this blue section is now the enlargement uh, let's now go to the reduction and use the line tool to trace over where the reduction is because we want to be able to see it differently and there we go so our pink section is the reduction green section being the original and the blue section being the enlargement i think we need a green line here line tool and switch to original And that's it. We can now trim some lines, meaning that, that, and that. And we can also delete this line that we never used, and that's the complete thing. Oh, uh, now let us put some labels. Let's also copy this again number one and we'll use it to go all over so that point that point that point there 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 and there all the importance the trends and we'll label them as such label that as zero because that's the origin point we label that as a one label that as a And 
the letters A too. That would be C1. Let's see if I'm using the right sequence. Um, A. No. Yes, A, B. Good. Let's copy one more. And let's put one there, one there. Let's put it into a more comfortable space. We have to turn off our turn off our snap mode for that. Double click, and let us make that B one. If you follow the pattern now, A1, B1, C1, and 0 would line out the reduced polygon, while A, capital A, capital B, and uh, we need another one here. Capital C would lay out our original polygon. of course would be C2 that would be B2 and we already have A2 Just trying to put our text a little bit closer to the points that they are representing for neatness and a better interpretation. All right, there you have it. That would be. Enlargement and reduction method one. Can I make a copy of this original? Right, let's turn off some of these layers. Turn off enlargement original. No, enlargement reduction. And leave original, that's all you want. I'm gonna make a copy of this. Turn on our ortho mode and grab it somewhere. Paste another one to the right and another one a bit further out. C2. 
see if we can put this back into place. No, it won't go back into place. Let's just delete that. And now we can turn back on all the layers that we just turned off. Alright, method two. Line. Let me use construction lines for now. Method two, L interval line tool. Let's turn back our snap. And from there, we draw a line from there outwards to the center. No. Wrong. We need to bisect some lines, some angles. So what I'll do is circle tool. CI. Circle tool. And I'm going to bisect any two angles using that one there. Just create a circle of, let's see what number is this. Creating a circle of about 60 and enter. That's too small. Alright, let's bisect a circle won't work. Let's use that angle and that angle. Alright. So circle tool. This is a much bigger circle circle of 160 and another circle of 160 these two circles create an intersection point that I'm going to use now to get the radial lines that will run through the middle so I'm bisecting the angle of these two white lines here, meaning this line and this line now have a third line running through the middle from those two circles or where those two circles intersected. I'm now going to bisect these two green lines to find the middle of those green lines. But before I do that, let me get rid of the circles. Let's just add them to the layer that we're not using. To get rid of them, circle tool again. And with the circle tool from this section, it may seem as if I'm repeating the steps, but it's just to differentiate. Now, let's use, say, 140 or 120. And I'm going to come to the other side of the green line and use the same and same number which is 120 and these two circles intersect here so if i use a line tool that will pass through the middle of it to through here and I can now turn off my circles. So by bisecting these two white lines, I found a midpoint. And by bisecting these two green lines, I found the other midpoint. These two intersecting lines create, these two bisections create an intersecting line here. That's the center of your polygon. Um, that would be considered equilibrium or in some cases if this was a solid or an actual shape where it could be you could actually balance the object from this point either way this is now the center of the scale from that point i can now use the line tool and just connect back to that point and i will turn off my ortho now and create another line or I don't really have to turn it off but create 
create a line tool that goes down to any length and this now will be our scale these two lines may be needed later on but we can trim the pieces that are not necessary nodes properly set all right let's create a new one line on a different angle and let's type divide select the line and six enter ensure that node is on let's turn off intersection and uh, midpoint and endpoint for a bit line all right so this is node six five and four and now we turn back to endpoint as we want to be able to connect our line to the end of our line here and let's copy copy this line copy by the base and paste it at each node so if that was four node after that would be three six and these lines look short so we will extend and extend no let's copy a piece of this line from the base let's do that again copy copy from here I'm not comfortable with that C O P Y enter select enter let's grab it precisely good we zoom out to see our full object and zoom into the very end and paste there so now we will have a full scale we need to trim some sections for you to be able to identify the scale we will also change the color of the scale so it's different differentiated from the other lines uh, let's see all of you here good this is in our scale let us put it to a layer with a different color let's give it to text layer for now just to get it to that orange color now the scale can be easily identified you have one two three four five and six we now need to create some radial lines that span outwards there is already a radial line here so what we can do is copy Grab it accurately and put another piece to it so it's bigger. Let's also extend this line here C O P Y. Grab that piece and paste there. Let's also grab another one there and paste there. There should also be another line from the center going to that corner and we will copy it as well.
All right. So the idea is that let's make this, that, and that a part of the zero layer and turn off the text layer so you can see what's really happening. The idea is that from the very center of the shape that we found, from bisecting the two angles, we were able to find the center of the polygon. From the center of the polygon, and lines will now protrude from center outwards through that corner, through that corner, through all corners. So let's say this is A, from corner A, corner B, C, and D, lines will radiate from the center to them spanning outwards. How long they will go, we'll not be sure until we start to and then we start to enlarge all right now let's reactivate our scale that's which is on the text layer and from that scale we'll take now our original line let's start with this line here C O P Y. most of what is going to be done here from this point on is just copying and trimming so we're copying it from the base and our ratio is 2 to 4 to 6 again so we're going back this this line was not grabbed properly let's come again select c o p y enter i'm going to grip it right from the very center there and paste that was five it should have been six that's okay i'll just delete five afterwards and this would be three and this would be two which is what we want so paste a two and that's fine um note this line here six is too short so pasting another piece will make it tall enough and i can escape this one that we accidentally placed there i can delete i can now trim and get rid of any line that passes the radial line so now i have two four and six we'll do the same thing to this side as well by using the original C O P U by enter grabbing it by the base and putting one at the intersection where number six stopped something is off again it's sometimes it is important to ensure ensure that the line is clipped as precisely as possible there you go and zoom in sometimes to find the exact point and click there and zoom into line 2 and click there as usual the enlargement line is always too short so we will add another piece there and now it's tall enough and that would make both of them too tall so it's trim again getting rid of anything that protrudes past the radial line and we're halfway there copy again copy our original line let's try to grab it accurately this time good Find two, put there, and find six, put there, and of course we extend to make it tall enough, and uh, it will trim to take care of the longer lines, and also that side last thing to be done now i can actually turn off the scale to get some clarity so that is no longer needed all i need to do now is line tool I'll enter for the line tool and find that point and connect it with that point no copying necessary for the last tool reactivate line tool again by simply selecting enter and connect the last two point making sure not to make a mistake of not 
finding the intersection properly and there we go our object is complete I need to now transfer or change over these lines to the layer in which they belong our external layer or the larger polygon belong to the layer that says enlargement so I will just simply select all of them and click on that layer and the middle ones belong to the original layer so I'll make sure they're all green and the inner ones one two three all four sides of the inner polygon belong to the reduction layer and now we're truly coded properly turn off the zero layer you'll be able to see the actual three polygons that we've created from that green one you're able to create a larger blue and a larger purple being enlarged or being reduced same as was done from the side only difference now is that with method one the scale is created on the outside of the object with method two the scale is created from the middle of the object we'll see when the soon as we re enable our scale and re enable line or, or zero layer I think for neatness sake we can also trim some of these lines that are going too far T-R-I-M and enter, enter there we go and clip some of these off good much neater than before now here's another trick you simply turn off all other layers that are not being used now except for the text layer and what you're left with is all of these writings over here that I can now highlight and C O P Y and I can make copy here and another one for later once I'm done with that I can now re-enable all my layers well all except for the one with the circles don't need those right now re-enable all your layers and once everything is reinstated you can now I think we can turn off let's 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 take this and that and make it part of the scale so that we can actually turn off the zero layer for now get it out of the way and we can also turn off the scale for now actually what am I going to do with all of these oh I need my text alright either way A1 Grab A1 and put it to a smaller capital A. Grab and can put it to the original and A2 as what we done in the first enlargement and reduction to the enlarged version B1. Find another side and you can oh let us turn off our stuff to make this transition easier good let's put one there and v2 Then go to C1 and we'll come back as well. Alright, so 
labeling is complete note all the, the reduced polygon has a1 b1 c1 d1 the enlarged should be a2 b2 c2 d2 and the original being a b c d this was method b previously method a both the ratio 246 and uh, we will now demonstrate method 3 which is really called the radial method first thing you need to do for the radial method is from any point let us say here make a line further out radial point radial method is more like a perspective view so we'll create a perspective from that point and also from the center there and also we will extend these lines right away by copying the original lines rubbing them by the base and pasting them at their respective places same thing will happen for the line below rubbing accurately by the base and pasting there to extend the line note that the start point for the radial method does not matter the distance from the original object does not matter nor the angle at which it is situated from the original matters not either no there's a fault here i'll have to redo this line let's delete that or let's not delete let's just grab it and realign and now i can copy Just be a little bit more accurate this time around to avoid any issues copying from the base zooming out and zooming back in to find the exact point at which you want the line to be placed and there we go so now we have our original figure and a randomly placed vanishing point and from that vanishing point real lines will pass through each corner now our polygon has four corners and i only have three radial lines which means i'm missing one from here we will also place a radial line from our vanishing point or in other words point zero to the fourth segment of the line and to avoid any errors in the line i'll just copy rather than to stretch the line sometimes you stretch the line and end up having it lean great all right so now already i'll say instead we will now set the line tool again radial method and this is creating our scale and if you remember from our scale the angle at which the scale is the scale is set does not matter nor does the length of the line of the scale matter either i'm just going to create a line any angle any size and leave it and it's now time to divide the line d i v i d e enter and it will ask you for the number which is the largest part of our scale two four six is six enter six and our line is now being divided into six lines or six segments highlighted by the nodes node is still selected and endpoint is still selected from our previous method so all we have to do is that line tool and count our nodes if they will identify themselves let's try again all right it seems like our line was not properly divided let's try divide tool again 
enter it says select your line select the line enter and it says no the number of segment or block you want which is six x six and enter and let us test our nodes now selecting the line tool looking for those of the circles there they are means that now we have a line of six segments our original from the previous two was four a ratio of four so let's count from six to five to four once we have located four we will click there and connect it to the other end of the line where we're starting at and there comes the creation of our scale we will now copy copy the segment of our scale and grab it by the base once we have it by the base search for those nodes not leaving any out so that's three two two seems a bit off yes it is let's find two properly and also one five and six being at the very end of the line now looking for all those lines that are a bit too short to extend them using the same line that we have copied now add a piece to that to make it taller and add a piece to that to make it taller and we'll go to two where we had made that mistake and to find the line that is not properly placed and to delete it select trim tool trim enter enter and that gives you another option of deleting lines you can delete multiple lines with the trim tool by dragging across casting a wide net if you can manage to grab two or more without deleting any of the necessary lines and at the end of the scale we can delete any other line because no line will be taller than that all right cool now if all that is now left is for us to copy this is one of the easiest methods to select the enlarged section and to activate the copy tool by typing CO or if you want to spell the full word out copy and grab by the base of the line as usual uh -huh, we have a missing line here let's reconnect this line properly let's move let's M enter grab and realign now we can go back to copying we want to copy the original line enter and grab it by the base and all the way out to six because that is the ratio of our scale what is happening here this line is too short ah we might have to extend this line by a bit more by adding another long piece of line just to get that small missing piece there we have our intersection now all right third time is the charm let's uh, copy zoom in as close as possible to make sure you grab that line in a precise point and now to find that intersection at intersection six and we're off something is is, is off let's turn on the intersection let's turn on midpoint as well and see if we can now paste good and we will extend the line right away uh, there we go and as long as that these lines has reached the first radial point that they are long enough we also search for line two and paste another line at line two escape switch to the trim tool and get rid of your excess lines
back to the copy tool back to our trim. Copy to once more and we're looking for the original lines of the polygon that we just made and grabbing it by the base as usual and bring it to where we had stopped with scale 2 and scale 6 two is done easily six as you will will need some extension being that it's larger than the original trim once more and there we have it that was done even much faster than the first two let's using the trim tool cast a wide net and you'll be able to delete all three lines or four lines at the same time and all we have to do now is reallot or we connect the, the last two points by doing something such as this grabbing that end and finding the other end of the loop reactivate the line tool and let's do the same for our reduced polygon and that's it all we have to do now is allocate the polygons to the color or layers that they belong so selecting all one two three four sides of the reduced section changing it to reduce layer you'll see that when it changes color to the color that you have decided the colors do not matter you, you your design your color choice the important factor is that the layers are consistent with what they are trying to represent. And as we try to select each part of the enlarged section, we will also switch it to the layer that represents that color. There we go. Oh, wait those were accidentally switched let's go back and there we have it now if we were to turn off our zero layer we would lose our scale right now we don't need a scale and we could actually turn it off now and we're left with three perfect polygons of ratios two four and six just like the first two all you'd have to do is copy your letters to label this polygon being A, B, C, D, A1, B1, C1, D1, and A2, B2, C2, D2. Radial method, method B, method C, or method A. Method A, scale placed on the outside, attached to the polygon. Method B, scale started from the very center by finding two, by, uh, by bisecting any two angle of the polygon. And method three, by finding any random point outside that will become the perspective or vanishing point. And from there, your radial lines will be projected and your object can be reduced or enlarged. That is it. Um, for completion of the drawing dimensioning is sometimes required um, for this particular assignment or, or activity the dimensioning may not be necessary but to demonstrate you may still need to our annotation is a bit large now so select it and type 
dim style enter and it brings it to the dim style settings select modify and from modify you'll be able to change all the settings of the text that you're trying to create 0.25 is the current setting which is huge so 0.25 to reduce it to 10 times smaller um, you can now copy that figure and go through your entire setting and just copy all the boxes that ask for text height or offset distance anything that requires distance or size just go through and change those figures back to the figure that you have decided which for this case would be 0 0.25 this method is it is not necessary for all the numbers to be 0 0.25 it could be 0 0.2 in some boxes or 0 0.1 in some boxes or the number may vary a bit on your preference but each one would need to, to be reduced to get your dimension looking even and consistent uh, you also need to set current and uh, close now the dimension that we did before which was too large we can delete that and make a second attempt by selecting the linear tool again and uh, let's try to dimension the enlarge polygon instead and there we go much better ratio and proportion and let's see what it looks like for the original or originally I believe was a hundred on this side let's see if it's still hundred yes it is good and uh, let's see what reduction would be Two, four, six. This should be one fifty. I believe I missed. I missed the accuracy of the points. Let's see again. If it is not one fifty, it means that at some point during the drawing, some mistake was made, where it caused something to be off by two millimeters. That's how accurate it is there we have, that's our error by missing this line only by a notch it caused the ratio to be completely off just to show that the accuracy of your drawing is really dependent on you focusing on each point not missing any of the dimensions 100 And 200 we expect that this would be 300 if it was not altered by the mistake that was previously made let's see where would we place this okay I see all right there we have it doing training title labeling and all three methods of enlargement and reduction.